What's up, Cal gang? Welcome back to some physics. So, we got this counterweight thing going on. So we have a 15 kilogram load of bricks and a 28 kilogram counterweight. Now our goal is A, to draw force body diagrams for both of the bricks and the, and the counterbalance. Then B, we wanna find the magnitude of the acceleration of the system. And then B, we wanna find the tension in the rope. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the force body diagrams, of course. So we're starting with the bricks. So the bricks are red, so let's keep it in red. So of course the bricks have weight, so it's gonna have a gravity force pulling it down. So this is gonna be force of gravity. And then also there's a tension, of course. So the tension, tension, right? Tension holds it up. And that tension is constant throughout the weight or throughout the rope. So the tension is the same here as it is here. Uh, yeah, I'll just draw that. So then here's the counterweight. So the counterweight also has weight. So it also has force of gravity. Uh, actually, I'm going to change these. So yeah, force of gravity is what you might want to use. I'm going to go ahead and use weight because there's two forces of gravity. So this is going to be weight of the bricks. However you want to write it, it's all good. This is going to be the weight of the counterbalance. So C is counterbalance, B is bricks. And then this also has a tension. And this tension is equal to this tension, or the same tension. So we have three unknowns, the weight of the bricks, the weight of the counterweight, and the tension. So let's move on to part B, now that we've solved part A. So we're trying to find the magnitude of the upward acceleration of the bricks. So let's start by finding the weight of the bricks. I think that's going to be useful. Or the weight of the bricks and the weight of the counterweight. So weight, right, is equal to mass times gravity. So if we want to find the weight of the bricks, we're going to need to take the mass of the bricks, which is 15 kilograms, multiplied by the gravitational constant, 9.81. So we go over here. I'm just going to write it over here, weight of the bricks is equal to, where is this on my paper? 1, 147.15 newtons. So newtons is the, yeah. If you want to find the weight of the counterbalance, we're going to take that 28, multiply it by 9.81, you get the weight of the counterbalance is equal to 274.68 newtons. So there's two numbers right there that we're going to need for sure. So now, let's do the sum of the forces. So if we want to find acceleration, we know force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if we want to do the sum of the forces, the sum of the forces are equal to the mass, the sum of the masses times the accelerations. So let's go ahead and do some of the forces for the bricks. Right, it's equal to the mass of the bricks times the acceleration. And then we need to add them up. So of course we have tension pulling upwards but we have the weight of the bricks pulling downward. So then we have this equation here that's left. I'm just gonna erase that because we don't really want it. So the mass of the bricks times the acceleration of the bricks is equal to the tension of the, uh, the rope minus the weight of the bricks. So unfortunately, uh, we know weight of the bricks, but we don't know tension and we don't know acceleration. So we have two unknowns. We can't solve for two unknowns in one equation. So then we need to do it again for the next one. So then if we're gonna add up the weight, the forces of the counterweight, it's going to be equal to the mass of the counterweight times the acceleration of the system. And then if we add them up for this, again, it's going to be tension minus the weight of the crate, or the counter, counterweight. Okay, so, but really quickly, before we move on from here, we're choosing acceleration to be in one uh, direction, right? So our acceleration, let me draw it on this uh, pulley here. So the acceleration is here. The acceleration points up here, but it also points down here, right? Because the acceleration is that over the pulley. You see how it kind of curves backwards like that? So if the acceleration is positive for the bricks, it's gonna have to be negative for the counterbalance. So we need to make sure to put that negative in this equation here. So now we have two unknowns and two equations, right? Acceleration, acceleration, tension, tension. We can cancel out one of them and solve for the other, because two equations, two unknowns, allows you to solve. So let's go ahead and let's, let's get rid of tension. We want to cancel out these equations for tension. So how are we going to do it? Well, let's start with this equation. Let's add that weight to the other side. So it's going to be minus the mass of the counterbalance times acceleration, plus the weight of the counterbalance is equal to tension in the rope. So that's nice. That's how we got there. Let's go back up to this equation, too. Let's bring that one over here. Let's add the weight of the brick or the weight of the bricks over. So mass of the bricks times acceleration plus weight of the bricks is equal to tension. 
So now we have these two equations in terms of tension. So we can set them equal to each other now because tension is equal to tension. So we're going to get that mass of the crate or counterbalance of the acceleration plus weight of the counterbalance is equal to mass of the bricks, acceleration, plus weight of the bricks. So now we want to simplify because we know mass of the crate, we know weight of the crate, we know mass of the bricks and weight of the bricks, and we're solving for acceleration. So let's get acceleration by itself. So let's, how about this? How about we add the mass of the crates to both sides? So we're going to get weight of the crate is equal to mass of the bricks times acceleration plus mass of the uh, counterbalance plus acceleration plus weight of the bricks. So now we want to keep acceleration, so let's, let's move that WB over. So we're going to get weight of the crate minus weight of the bricks. I keep saying crate, it's a counterbalance, but okay. And then here we have this, right? The mass except mass break times acceleration plus mass of the counterbalance plus acceleration. We can factor out an acceleration. We get mass of the bricks plus mass of the crate. So then of course, if we want to solve for A, we can divide. Uh, I'm going to bring this equation over here. I know my work is messy, but it's all good. We're going to get weight of the crate minus weight of the bricks. Then we're dividing by mass of the bricks plus mass of the crate. And that's equal to acceleration. So now what we have to do is plug in the numbers we calculated. So mass of the crate, 274.68, minus mass of the bricks, 147.15, over mass of the bricks, 15, plus mass of the counterbalance, which is 28. And this is equal to acceleration. So solve for this. I'm just going to write it up here. No, I'll keep it down here. Acceleration. This gives you 2.96 meters per second squared. All right, so that's your answer to part B, right? 2.96 meters a second squared. Pretty cool. So next, we want to solve for tension, right? That's part C, the tension in the rope. So now that we have acceleration, I'm going to clean up some of this work. Don't really need all of this stuff anymore. Now we're solving for tension. So we're going to go back to here. So we know acceleration now, and we know everything else in this equation, so we can just plug in our numbers. So we can do this equation, or we can do this equation. How about we do this equation? I just didn't feel like the bricks more. So the mass of the bricks is 15, the acceleration is 2.96. The weight of the bricks is 147.15. That's equal to tension. So you do the math on this, and you get that tension is equal to 191 newtons. And there's part C. All right, so we've answered every part of this question. I'm pretty sure that now what I want you to do is analyze if T is greater than or less than the weight. So we can see that the tension here is greater than the weight of the bricks, but it's less than the weight of the crate. And that explains why the crate accelerates downward, but the bricks accelerate upward. Pretty cool, right? So that's how you solve this problem. Uh, not too tricky. Just about, you know, doing that force body diagram and that system of equations and once you get the hang of it, it all becomes really chill. So feel free to check out my playlist for more videos like this. Uh, leave your questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.